Hey everyone. I just thought it was time to finally make an official tutorial on how to use Senegent's makeup, making sure we're covering up some of these dark circles and just kind of giving us a flawless look for the day. We have three options for foundation. We have the color correcting tinted moisturizer. This is gonna be your least coverage, so if you don't want that full coverage foundation look, you can just use this. Um, today I'm gonna to use our foundation in Dewy. And this is just the regular foundation. We also have an advanced anti-aging foundation, um, which is a little more hydrating if you've got drier skin. For the foundation, I just like to use a beauty blender. So I will put about a pump and I just kind of fill that in. Like your beauty blender should be wet. So I had already gotten this wet, squeezed it out, um, and squeezed it out with a towel but it is a damp beauty blender. If it is not, it's just going to soak up all of your foundation and that will be a big waste. Okay. Once my foundation is settled, to kind of conceal that a little bit, since this is blue under here, we want to kind of counter that with an orangish shade. So I want to use candlelight to kind of cover up this purplish color. And I, you need a very, very little, like you do not need much at all. Just right here where I know that it's kind of bluish. I don't need to pull it everywhere because I'm still going to use concealer. I just kind of want to use this candlelight to help with that bluish color. I can got a little extra on here, so I'll just use that my eyelids too. Some people just use the shadow scents for their concealer, but I love the hydration that the actual concealer gives and how effective it is. So I just like to use my candlelight to kind of cancel out that color a little bit. Light concealer. You just need a tiny little bit of that as well and just kind of blend that candlelight out. Kind of cover that up. You don't need to go all the way up to your eye. And I'll show you in a minute, but if you go all the way up to your eye and then you use eyeshadow there, then you kind of see that you are just wasting. And the less product you can have under your eyes, the better. So, um, if I'm just going to put eyeshadow over that then there's no point to go all the way up with the concealer. So just kind of blend that out. The brush just kind of blend that out. And if you want to get real fancy you can use white concealer which I don't really use every day but you'll see how much brighter it'll make it. Accentuate that. Blend that out as well. Let's see how much brighter that already looks. I should have done this one side and the other so you could see the difference. For brows, I just like to use the Rustic Brown Shadow Sense with a little brow brush. Just use this little brush, get some products, kind of just follow where the hairs go. And my little trick, I line up my outside of my nose to the inner corner that should be about where it starts. Out, outer corner to the edge of your nose should be about where it ends. And then if you go like through your pupil, like right there next to your pupil, that should be about where your arch is. And you've got a few seconds where you can kind of work with it before it sets in case you do mess up. As you can 
can see, you don't have to be too perfect. It is very easy to work with and very forgiving. You mess up a tiny bit. It's not like the end of the world. You don't have to start over. Just kind of brush it around. For my basic eye, just for an everyday, you saw I kind of got some of that um, when I was going under. I kind of got some of that candlelight on there. If I don't have that much on there, I might throw a little bit more just to kind of cover up that bluish tint. So I would definitely put candlelight in my essential Shadow Sense colors. And then I'll just show you like a simple everyday look when I'm just in a hurry, not doing anything fancy. Well, the first thing I do is take Mocha Java. And Mocha Java is almost empty, but don't ever throw these away until you have taken this little cap out because you'll realize you have like two more months worth of product in there. Look at how much more just came out of there. There's so much product left. So I'm just taking like a blending brush, getting a tiny bit of product, which is hard to do now that I just opened that. I might have got too much there. Just kind of blend that all the both sides there because I did get too much. Just blend that all in my crease, a little bit above, because if you notice my eyes when they're open, you don't really see much of my lids, so. I need to kind of go a little above my crease as well. And I'm also going to bring this a little bit under here too. That's why I said you don't need to bring your concealer up super, super high because you have a little eyeshadow under here too. You want your bottom lid to look like it matches your top. Super easy to use, super forgiving, anyone can do this, it's very easy. I'm going to use my Snow, which is just white. It's just a white shadow sense. A little bit of that to brighten up those inner corners. You can also put a little bit of that white under your brow bone as well to kind of accentuate that as well. I like to just take Onyx, which is our black shadow sense, and just take a little liner brush a little bit onto that and just kind of do the outside edge. Can't really see, so I'm down here. It's just a little contact. Just kind of on the outside to thicken the the lash line. See how it kind of brightens that up a bit brightens, it doesn't brighten that up, it just makes my lashes look thicker. Super easy. We're going to finish that off with our Volume Intense Mascara. Yes, I keep it in here. I just feel like it, it kind of applies. It goes on a little bit better when it is a little warmer. It's not so thick. 
I'm not going to use the primer today just because if I were in a hurry, I'm not going to use it, but it is amazing. I'll do a different tutorial on that um, another day. Just the mascara alone, you'll see a huge difference that it makes. Just kind of wiggle it at the base and pull up. Oops, great. Let's wipe that off. Wiggle at the base and lift. That's just one coat. second to last I got blush so um, for everyday blush I like to use where did I go oh right in front of me um terracotta terracottas I like to use that every day for for like an everyday color looks good on everyone um you use so little of this like I'm not even gonna like I just dabbed it like dabbed it that's it seriously last me three years and it's not going anywhere soon okay. sometimes I'll use our um, translucent powder especially in the summers here um, just kind of finish up with that this stuff is amazing and also whew, also has the skincare in it it'll help kind of soak up some of that oil that might happen throughout the day these are nice too because you can just literally throw it in your purse and if you're feeling a little oily or whatever you just have this on the go with you um, and then last but not least a lip sense color I can't that is a good everyday color I like to use pink champagne um, I also picked up these witch hazel pads like wipes from like TJ Maxx or something like that I don't remember they had a bunch but but if you have any like witch hazel or toner just to kind of wipe any of that makeup off your lips that helps your lip sense last longer and stay on a little bit better so they're nice and clean hopefully you all know how to apply that already but just in case remember it's three very thin wipe it off three very thin layers I'm not gonna go back and forth just a swiping motion Oh no. So I, <laughs> I was sent my friend a little care package today and I was looking the envelope and I literally got a paper cut on my lip and that does not feel good. Like, I don't know the last time I got a paper cut and let alone on my lip. Like, it, I felt like I was like the Joker. It was like, like I was gonna have a big scrape across my face. Um, layer two. And layer three. Let that dry.
and that's it.